welcome to this 30 minute yoga flow for prolapse and it's a slightly advanced class so I recommend you only do what feels good for you in your body and if you feel any kind of heaviness or bulging throughout the class just come down into child's pose and then pick up whenever you are ready. So we're gonna start by the top of the mat and you can place your feet kind of hip width apart, maybe slightly broader. So we're just going to do some warm, warm up here for the spine. Your arms are relaxed alongside the body. And then you just start to twist with the upper body. And arms completely relaxed. So you just let them dangle from side to side. And then closing the eyes, taking deep breaths. Maybe you want to sigh out through the mouth. Relax your jaw, your forehead. And if you want to increase the movement or the speed of the movement, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to go slower, listen to your body and what it needs. So tall spine, lifting the heart forward, slight activation in the low belly. And this movement in combination with the breath will start to activate the pelvic floor. So breathing into the rib cage every time and then side all out on the exhale. And slowly coming back, just stopping this movement. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. So we're gonna do some sun salutations, slightly uh, modified for prolapse. <clears throat> so you come hip width apart with your feet feeling that you have a connection all the way down, strong legs, lift the heart forward and let your chin be parallel to the floor, elongating the neck slightly. From here, activating all the way out to the fingertips and then the next time you inhale, you take your arms up to the sides, all the way up, Stretching out the front side a little bit and then exhaling, folding forward. So if you need to, you bend your legs and you fold over all the way down to a relaxed neck. From here, inhaling fingertips on the mat, just elongating the spine and neck. And then placing the fingertips on the mat, taking the right foot all the way back into a lunge position. So you just stay here for two breaths. Lifting the heart forward and feeling these strong legs. So you want the, the feet, both feet, to draw toward each other. And then you place the palms all the way down, set the back knee down and coming back into all fours. So from here we're going to take our chest all the way to the floor and then place the chin down into a back bend. So activating the elbows onto the side of the body and sticking up your bum a little bit. On the next inhale you come forward into a cobra position. So you want to take the hands onto the mat and really drag them backward to lift the heart up and maybe you want to look up if it feels okay for your neck, activating the back side of the feet toward the mat. Next time you exhale, you come down, taking the toes onto the mat and then coming into a downward facing dog. So this is a really nice position to let the pelvic floor relax all kinds of inversions when you have the hip higher than the shoulders and the head are really nice positions for the pelvic floor. So if you need to here, you can bend the legs 
quite much. And then from there, you try to elongate the spine even more. So we really want to connect with the spine, the breath, and the pelvic floor. Closing the eyes, taking the shoulders away from the ears. And now we're, we're going to do 10 kind of pumping movements with our belly. You can just look at me. You kind of hold your breath. So you take a deep inhale. Exhale. And then you stop the breath and you pump. So go ahead. You make 10 in and out with the belly. And once you're done, you take a deep inhale, relaxing the belly. And exhale, coming forward with the right foot toward the right hand. Just staying here. Maybe you want to have the fingertips on the floor. Or maybe you can have the palm of the hand. Lifting the heart forward, feeling a nice stretch around the hips and the legs. And as you exhale, you come all the way forward with the other foot. Just relax down on an exhale and then inhaling, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, elongating the neck. Exhale, come down and inhale, coming all the way up. Bend your knees if you have to. And then sweep the arms, the palms of the hand meet, and you lift. So we stay here for two more breaths now. And we really try to anchor the feet down, lifting the heart up. And then slightly back bending in our backs. And then you exhale slowly, coming down all the way. Inhaling, lifting the chest, lifting the heart. This time, take the left foot all the way back. So we stay here. Just find your nice activated position. So you really try to activate the feet toward each other. That will activate our, the inside of our thighs and create even more connection to the pelvic. So you lift the heart forward, relax your jaw, and when you are ready, you can place the palm of the hands down and then coming into all fours. Again, let's come all the way down with the chest. And this time, if you wish to, you can let go of your hands and clasp, clasp the fingers. So you come all the way up with the hands toward the ceiling. Breathing here. And slowly coming down and all the way forward into a cobra. And before you lift up into the back bend, make sure that you activate your legs. So the knees are off the floor and the back side of the foot are really pushing down into the mat. And then you lift up. And maybe you want to go slightly higher. Don't let the hips lift off the mat. Keep the hips in contact with the mat and you lift the heart forward. Maybe you want to lift the gaze. Then you exhale, coming all the way down and into a downward facing dog. So let's do one more round of those pumps with the stomach. So you take a deep in breath, exhale, hold your breath and pump 10 times. Then you inhale, so that's, you need to practice <laughs> to get that right. So if you, if you, you know, don't get the motion, don't worry, it will come if you practice. And then slowly taking the left foot all the way to the left hand, taking the fingertips onto the floor and then looking forward, lifting the heart, 
keeping this activation in the feet and inner thighs. And then slowly exhaling, coming all the way forward. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, folding over. And then inhale, coming all the way up. Let the hands of the uh, palms of the hands come together. Lifting the heart, lifting up all the way. And then slowly coming down, folding forward. And then inhaling, coming halfway up. Exhaling, take the right foot all the way back. Right hand place, places onto the mat where your right foot was. And then you lift up your left hand toward the ceiling. Elongating the spine. And again, check so that your feet are activated toward each other. Exhaling, coming all the way down, coming onto all fours, and then you take a variation of, of this position, either if you want to do it as we did before, with the hands down or hands up, or if you wish to, you can bend your right leg now, placing the left thigh into the right foot. Taking one more breath. And then slowly coming down with the legs, coming all the way down onto your belly into a cobra position. And then slowly taking your downward facing dog. So this time we lean over first to the right with the hips, letting the left side stretch all the way from the foot to your shoulder or little finger and then coming to center coming all the way forward with your right foot and then either you take the same position or if you wish to you can place the elbow outside of your right knee and play taking the palms together, creating a deeper twist rotation in the spine. Looking back over the back elbow, if you can, otherwise you, you look down. And then slowly coming down with the hands, coming all the way to the front of the mat with the left foot, inhaling, elongate the, the spine, exhaling, and then inhaling, slowly coming all the way up, lifting the heart, lifting the chest, and then falling. Inhale, come all the way forward with your heart and the top of the head. Exhale, take the left foot all the way back and place the left hand onto the mat, lifting the right hand. And Really strong legs here, powerful all the way out through the fingertips, taking up your space in your own body and in the room. Exhaling, coming down, and then all the way back with your knees, softly pla placing the chest on the mat and the chin. Either you stay here or you take you bend the left leg now and place the right thigh in your left foot. And slowly coming down and then coming into a cobra position. Lifting as far up as you feel comfortable. Don't forget the activation in the legs. And breathing out, coming down coming all the way back to downward facing dog. Stretching out the right side now, so tip your hips over to the left. Breathe into the side body. And coming into center, coming with the left foot all the way to the front, 
take your twist. So really try to elongate, especially the left side body. So we're not here, we are elongating the side body and then looking over the back elbow if it's possible. Breathing, activating the legs. And the next time you exhale, you place the hands down, coming all the way forward, inhale, lifting the heart, exhale, folding over. And then inhale, come all the way up. So final back bend here in this position, rooting through the feet. And through this activation in the legs and feet, so from the hips, it's kind of thinking down, rooting, and from the hips and up, you really lift, 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 elongate, and then from this elongation, you can have a slightly back bend in your upper chest, upper back, and lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders down from the ears, and exhale coming down with the arms. Good. So, now we are going to do a headstand. So, if you have never done a headstand before, I will stop on the way and you can stay in this alternate position. And if you have done it before, have fun. So, we are going to place our hands onto the mat and then we're going to imagine a um, um, triangle where the top of the triangle will be where we place our head. So it's really important for the neck which part of the head we are placing down onto the mat. So we don't want to place this part because then we won't be able to activate the muscles to protect the neck. So what we want to do is placing um, the heel of the hand where our elbows are. Then we take our longest finger and take it onto the top of the head. So this is the part that we want to place down onto the mat. So you can press here so that you remember when you're on the mat, oh yeah, this is the point. So what's really important now is that we are placing the head down, then we do not want the elbows to fall out to the sides. We want to keep them in line with the shoulders. So from here, you either you stay here, if it feels you know like it's enough for you today, or you hook your toes under, and then you lift into kind of a downward facing dog. You can stay here. This is a really nice pressure on the top of the head, which activates a lot of functions in the brain and the body. So this gives a lot. If you wish to, now you can place just below the knees, you place the lower leg onto the top of the upper back arm. And then you do the same thing with the other one. And you try to connect the toes. And you stay here. So staying four more breaths. Deep inhalation, inhalations and really empty on the exhalations. So we really want to press the palms of the hands down and the head down because we don't want to collapse in the neck. So everything that touches the mat has to be reactivated to protect the neck. So last exhalation, and then slowly taking the feet down, coming all the way down with your knees, and just coming back into a child's pose. Whichever version you prefer, Make sure that your neck can stretch long and that you're breathing toward your back, the back side of the body. And then 
slowly coming up to a seated position. Good job. Let's come down into onto the back of the mat. So I know many women with prolapse should come back all the way down onto the side first and then roll over. So let's do that. I didn't really feel anything when I went down straight on the back when I had a prolapse or a symptomatic prolapse. So <clears throat> we're going to work in bridge pose. So you want to make sure that your heels are in line with the knees and the hips and that they are quite near your bum. So see if you can touch with your fingertips onto the heels. They just have to touch. And if, if they don't, that's fine too. So we're gonna work with the breath here. Every time you inhale, you're gonna roll off the mat, vertebra by vertebra, coming all the way up, really pushing the hips up toward the ceiling, and then exhaling, coming all the way down. And inhale, coming up, Exhale, coming down. We add the arms. So you inhale, coming all the way back down onto the floor with the arms if you feel good about that. And then exhale, sweeping the arms all the way down. Inhaling, close the eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. And just let the breath lead this movement really following the breath with your body otherwise you know so often it's the opposite the body leads and the breath just have to follow so it's like you're a small seaweed in the ocean and you're just moving with the water the water comes and goes and you're just floating around in this shape the next time you come all the way down you stay here so what we're going to do now this is an option we are going to come into a shoulder stand from bridge pose if you wish to come into shoulder stand in any other way that you feel more comfortable about, you can do that. If you're not up for shoulder stand today at all, you can just go to a wall and place the legs up on the wall. Maybe you want to place a pillow underneath the hips. So what we're going to do is we're lifting the hips and we're taking the hands onto the back side of the pelvis. So now my pelvis and all like my whole body is resting in my hands i'm not activating the legs at all and from here you lift one leg up and then maybe you want to point the fingertips more toward your bum and you kind of try to <laughs> take the weight onto the hands and you lift the other leg up and if you wish to here, you can just come all the way with your hands toward the shoulder blades and maybe straightening your body slightly. So just do what feels good for you and try to keep activation into the feet all the way through the legs. But it's not like they are super tensed, it's more like there's a connection there. Close the eyes. And just breathe here, taking any pressure of the neck. So if you need to adjust anything, you do that. Otherwise, you just imagine all the heaviness coming back into place. From the feet, the legs, the pelvis, the vagina, everything energetically is pushed up. 
So one last breath and on the exhale we're going to move to plow pose. So slowly taking the legs down, you can bend the legs and then you come all the way down with the feet to the floor. As soon as they touch, you can stay there or you try to straighten the legs. Maybe you want to clasp the hands and elongate the arms onto the mat. Again, creating space for the neck. It might be feeling slightly possible, impossible here, but just do your best. And if you feel any pain in the neck, you just come down and out of the position. Otherwise, you breathe here, you try to lengthen your legs. Straightening, activating the sit bones up toward the ceiling so that you are elongating the spine. One more breath. And slowly either with your hands on the mat, that's going to activate the core quite much, at least when you come closer down. So maybe you want to have the support if you don't want to experience any kind of bulging. So then you can just let your legs come really close to your upper body as you roll down vertebra by vertebra. Take your time, close the eyes. And then coming all the way down with your feet onto the mat. Just stretching out the legs, letting the arms come alongside the body. Taking a deep inhalation into the nostrils all the way down. Exhale, just side out. And you can just rock your head from side to side to release any kind of tension in the neck. So we're going to do one last position here. It's a twist, it's a rotation. So you bend the right knee, you place the right foot into the left knee. And you take the left hand outside of the right knee and gently coming all the way over to the left side. At the same time, if it feels good, you can stretch your right arm diagonally up and back behind you and letting the palm of the hand face the ceiling. So you take a deep breath in here, really feel the rib cage expanding. Exhale side out and maybe you want to give a little, little slight push onto the outside of the right knee. Coming back on the next exhale to center and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you prepare and it's nice to always go into rotations of the spine on an exhale so that you empty the lungs at the same time as you are making the vertebras rotate. Then when you are in the position you inhale deeply into the lungs, creating a lot of circulation and fluidity in the internal organs. Exhaling, just kind of melting even more toward the floor. And then gently coming back. So from here, you can place a pillow under your bum and take a shavasana for as long as you, as you wish. And if you wish, you can also just straighten the legs when you have that pillow, either bent knees or um, straight legs so that you elevate the hips nicely. And I really, really recommend that you take at least a couple of minutes here. So I am going to come to a seated position. I'm going to leave you here. Thank you.
you so much for sharing this practice with me and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>